All right, let's head to Tantalor. Hmm. Let's get our uh, let's get our end game fit on, shall we? Uh, real quick. I definitely like that hair. We'll definitely keep using that one. I do like his mustache and patch. I don't think I'm gonna change his face very much at all. Goatee and mustache. Just looks like his short beard. Uh, jacket, let's see. Put him in that, yeah. Looking pretty good, Cal. Raf says, I saw Cal on YouTube once that was so beautiful, I think I fell in love. Raf, you have been in love with Cal since the moment Fallen Order came out. What are you talking about? You did not fall in love at this game. You were already in love. <laughs> Hope Grease is ready for a bumpy ride. All right, hollow table time, folks. Cal, is it time? We're heading to the abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. And you see. Looks like an oil spill. <laughs> What do you think is taking Z so long? Dagengera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. <laughs> hey, great talk, kid. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. <laughs> Just pushing BD1 out of the way like he's a cat climbing on your desk. <laughs> Enter the pulsating, fleshy space tunnel. That's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. Great. Now it's an optical course. <laughs> Too fast, but you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. <sighs> You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Grease. Greasy money. Let's go. The Mantis is such a cool ship. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is it me, or is this tunnel getting a tad cozy? It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. 
Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man. It's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? <laughs> you know I do, Cal. Let her ride. Great moment. <laughs> Brings a tear to the eye. God damn. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. <laughs> wow. I hope it's worth it. Taft says, did they just make out? They sure did. <laughs> he, he immediately knew what he was uh, <laughs> what he was excited about. He's like, yes, we're not dead. <laughs> Let's make out. The Abyss. Piloting through the very heart of the Kobo Abyss, Grease at last rediscovered his lost confidence, deftly maneuvering through the debris of starship wreckage. However, around them, the path began to fray and collapse as the arrays on Kobo began to fail. Hearing the voice of Seer in his mind, Cal drew upon the lessons of his former mentor to guide his hand, trusting in the Force and pulling the hyperdrive controls, launching the Mantis into a blind jump. The Mantis skips through hyperspace and, after a tense moment, emerges on approach to a beautiful blue-green world, Tantalor. Ah. <sighs> What an incredible gift. This game is really, it's got it. <laughs> so, this is it. Analor. You and Mara be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. So, they're stranded on Tantalor because the arrays aren't open anymore. They can't get back, I don't think. Not now, kid. Shake a leg. What's around here? Kettle says the color of the water here. That's the stuff. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, the uh, the place that Shadowbringers takes place in uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. Overlooking a natural vista, Jedi of old often frequented this spot to clear their minds and find calm within themselves. Apollo says, oh, so this is how they write Cal out of the TV series. Yeah. I mean, if this is where they live now, that's, there's, they, like, we, they're stranded here, I think. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they find a way out. I guess if Bode has the compass still, we'll take care of Bode and then, uh, and then do something else, but... Oh, whoa. Oh, it's an old droid, a maintenance droid. High Republic droids. Now obsolete, Republic droid fallen during the battle with the Nihil invaders of Tantalor. The droid gave a valiant defense of the planet. If you want to learn more about that, pick up the Star Wars the High Republic Light of the Jedi series at a bookstore near you. <laughs> I say that because I actually haven't read them because I didn't really get super interested. <laughs> I, I, I am completely out of the loop on High so Republic stuff. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. The temple's this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. Oh, it's beautiful.
Kettle Chip says, what's up with Night Sister Magic? Does it have a light dark parody? It does not. It is entirely the dark side of the force, as far as I know. Or at least that's where it gets its information from. Or its information, its power from. Uh, but that's okay. Bold it's a different philosophy. Peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. Well... Say something! Marin is right. mad. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And ours. Buried Invasion. The unexpected invasion of Tantalor forced the Order to flee to their new sanctuary. How the Nihil discovered Tantalor remains a mystery. Well, I mean, given that the Nihil were the only people that were able to really navigate space before the hyperspace lanes were identified and set up, I mean, I mean that makes sense why they'd be able to find Tantalor. It's kind of their, their one thing. It's the one thing that they do. Uh... The High Republic and the Old Republic are different, yes. The High Republic is the era of uh, the Jedi before the fall of the Republic, but after the Old Republic. It's literally the height of the Seer once said, civilization. Warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. Fascinating. It's really cool that they're setting up that, like, again, every Jedi fights uh, the dark side, but uh, winning it doesn't necessarily mean it disappears, as evidenced by Seer. Seer is defined by her call to the dark side, especially in the first game. And, oh man, look at that. It's like a friggin' Windows 98 wallpaper. I love this. Look at how green that water is. He's still here. Good. Oh. I feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy XI right now. <laughs> this is great. Playing a Sega Saturn game over here. <laughs> Panzer Dragoon. Fall back to the temple. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. Opo Rancisis. Oh. Uh, the Jedi, led by Dag and Gera, make their last ill-fated stand against the invading forces. Raf says, Final Fantasy XI, I've never met someone that actually played that game. I have played thousands of hours of that game. Uh, Final Fantasy XI is great, and it's still going. Uh, if you're watching this right now, chances are, uh, chances are it still has a pretty active user base. Uh, it is not going anywhere anytime soon. It is a very good MMO, and it is worth playing in 2023. Uh, it's got one of the best stories in all of Final Fantasy. So if you are interested in it and can put up with a PS2 game, definitely give Final Fantasy XI a try. It is an excellent video game. Ceremonial Fountain. A tri-pointed water feature built to symbolize the three core pillars of the Jedi Order, the Force, Knowledge, and Self-Discipline. Jedi strive at all times to gain mastery over all three. Kettle says, can you still find groups to grind up levels for earlier content? You do not need to grind levels in Final Fantasy XI anymore. It is extremely easy and quick to level up, and the whole game is soloable. Uh, there are NPC party members you can get now that allow you to play. Do you hear that? Gotcha. Why does Kata sound so familiar?
one. Hey, Katya. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? She looks so disappointed. <laughs> okay. Follow me. I don't like it here. It's dark. And lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? You're very pretty. <laughs> realistic kid dialogue like genuinely <laughs> kids just say stuff you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender. Now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please! <laughs> Best for my family. Yeah, Marin. Oh, he uses uh, the same tactics that Ahsoka uses with her reverse grip saber. Buddy. Distract him! I will strike from the shadows. Oop. I need help. It's over! <laughs> we get more of the five gum fight. <laughs>
Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's my bad for dodging early. All right, that's a cool fight. Let's do this. Uh, Bode has come too far to falter at the last moment. Among the ancient stones of Tantalor, he will fight with the former Jedi's power to defend his daughter, with nothing off limits in the desperate quest to keep Kakata safe. After enduring Bode's force powers, his block meter will be exhausted. Press the attack. Okay, try to time force powers against Bode's moves to interrupt them. Oh, okay. We got pretty far into that fight, it seems. Uh, I presume this is the final boss, so I'm excited about this. Oh, you need to Our die in order to get this. Interesting. Final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. Faced with the imminent abandonment of the planet, they toil to reach Dagengar and Santari Kree make a final impassioned plea to the Jedi Council. Manus' final boss before the Ogdos, of course, indeed. Oh, I thought I dodged it. Oh, no. No! <laughs> All right. I waited for it, and I still... I got I got drop-kicked. That's my bad. All right. Uh, fun. I like this fight already. This is a... Uh, this is a well-balanced encounter. I think we'll be able to do this, though. I'm not actually that stressed out about him unless there's like unless it's literally like a five phase fight and i have to do it non-stop in which case that's stressful uh, ganon dwarf in here I have to watch this every single time. Come on. <laughs> Probably don't use force lift or force slam enough.
Everything he does is unblockable. Okay. I see what we're doing here. What is going on? Why can't I not affect him at all? Do I just need to find a way to parry him? What is going on? Huh. Hey, BD. Okay. That was weird. I attacked him many, many times and his stamina bar just never went down. like to grow up alone please listen to them papa very reasonable young girl <laughs> All right. and when the empire comes will you be able to protect my little girl <gasps> i'm sorry Kata. i tried right decision. What was that, four tries? I think we did four. I don't remember. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, 
I met someone who also lost his family. Together we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Really nice, like, subtle kid acting. Very rare. for the homies. Bunger says, they're really just stealing his kid now. This is the way. She's a foundling. Demi says, who are the other bodies? Oops. You let me walk my own path. When I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. Continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I 
know if I'm ready for what comes next. But yeah, the other bodies are obviously Seer and Eno Cordova, who were killed by Bode and Darth Vader. Cal, guide her through the darkness. What a stupendous video game. <laughs> Fuck. This was good. This was it's so good. <laughs> this is the best Star Wars game maybe ever. This was so awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I am over the moon about how good this was. I loved everything about this. Holy fuck. <laughs> they took an incredible foundation with Fallen Order and delivered on it and expanded on it in every single way in a way that was just objectively an improvement in every regard. Like, there was no misstep in this game uh, other than EA forcing it out the door before Respawn was done with it. But, holy hell. <laughs> this was... I'm losing my mind right now. I am so impressed with how this game ended. I'm so impressed with every single narrative choice. Uh, even something as simple and obvious as like Bode double crossing you. Like we all guessed this in the first moment of the game. Uh, the choices it takes with him as a character are so strong. Like it would have been so easy for him to be like, I'm an Imperial spy. I'm just evil. It blah 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 like holy crap they did such a good job I'm so impressed oh boy I can't wait uh, I can't wait for more <laughs> we'll sit and uh, watch the credits I'm sure there will be like an after credit scene or something uh, I'm, I'm very curious I'm very curious What a video game, though. The characters are so interesting, and even the choices like making Marin and Cal a thing, like, they could have done that in such a boring way, and instead they delivered on it in, like, the most... one of the most realistic relationships I've ever seen in a video game. Like, just two people who actually care about each other don't really have hang-ups about it and just... just work together and love each other and cling to the life that they so vibrantly live like it is just so good uh characters like even Eno Cordova coming in at the last second like just so excellent man what a moment <sighs> what a video game Narrative director Aaron Contreras, senior game writer Cheyenne uh, Pualani Morin, technical designer Cole, Cole Swanny, lead writer Danny Homan, senior game writer Pete Stewart. Uh, story by Aaron Contreras and Stig Asmussen. Fucking good jobs. St just incredible work. I am so Im impressed. Uh, uh, cutscene uh, acting performance capture amazing good job to Cal uh, to Cam Monahan. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna text our friend like <laughs> right after this and be like you need to tell Cam that he did a really good job I know you haven't played this video game and probably will never play it but you need to tell him that he did a really good job <laughs> because holy crap uh, <laughs> this kid's a star for real <laughs> 
uh, damn, actually doing something cool with Jedi and like not being afraid to go in an interesting direction and and play with Star Wars concepts that really just haven't had an opportunity to, to get played with in a very long time. Uh, holy smokes. Uh, this game was killer. This is a killer video game. I'm so impressed right now. This, uh... <laughs> This might be my game of the year so far. Uh, I am incredibly impressed by this. Uh, boy. I like don't want to play anything else. <laughs> and I think it's interesting, like, you know, <laughs> I hate to call it the, you know, it just to say that they're like redoing the sequel trilogy with this, but like, People often said Force Awakens is a new hope and The Last Jedi is very much a The Empire Strikes Back sort of situation and then Rise of Skywalker fell flat on its face. But this game uh, mirrors the original trilogy in a way more direct way while also just nailing it. Just, just not falling into any pitfalls that like a quote unquote like derivative story might have or could have fallen into. Like, there are so many moments in this that mirror moments from the original trilogy, but not to, like, quote Lucas in such a goofy way, but, like, the the rhyme here is better than in the prequels and in the sequels. The, the rhyme here gives you metatextual information and, and allows you to understand the symbology and the signification that's been, been built up. It's so good. This game is... The writing in this game is so good. My controller died. I don't know how long these... Uh, I, I don't know how long these credits are, but we've got quite a bit of time. I assume. Boy. What, what was my favorite part? I don't, I don't know. The kiss was pretty good. I'll just skip the end. I want to see this scene really bad. I want to see what's going on here. Well, not exactly what we expected. But this place is our home now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Grease. I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. <laughs> this belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. Femi and Splinter say which kiss? The first one. The one where she says, trust me. Yeah. Let's do it. That's the spirit. That's great. Come on. I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? Journey complete. You have reached the end of your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored and there may yet be secrets left to discover. New journey plus, we've already unlocked. New journey plus free perks, we've already got. Oh man, what a video game. Haven's Edge meditation point. What do we got here? Temple Atrium, okay. Um. Wow, we beat it, we did it. We finished the game. I'm so happy. <laughs> I really, really love this game. Uh, let's, uh, 
Let's head. Oh, I do not want to go to Coruscant right now. Let's head back to Kobo. See if we can maybe this triggered our uh, bounties. And there's Kata in Bo's seat. Love Kobo. What's it like? Oh, lots of waterfalls. <laughs> Everything grows there. It's great. Don't forget Pailoon Saloon. Grease is the owner. Is there music? Yes. And they love to take requests. Okay. I hope they have Trandoshan Funk. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, Baz has got to sleep now. Night, night. Good night, Baz. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, dang. What a game. All right. Make like a rock and quit moving around my cabin. Uh, people it says there's a handful of stories uh, to explore. I figured that would be the case. Oh boy. New characters or conversations are now available at Pyloon Saloon. All right, let's see. Is this a moment of truth? Is the game gonna work for us? There's a new force echo over there. What is that? Thanks for bringing Asha Didi to the outpost. They know how to party. Fine piece of gear. Zig could knock this dent out if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. Help me remember how I got it. And oh. how's that? Bounty hunter. Made the mistake of pulling a blaster on my little girl. Bode talks with Doma about how he obtained his jetpack, a typically blood-soaked affair that worked out well for Bode, but not his opponent. Busy, busy. I'm gonna lose my mind. No cage. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. Uh, all right. Well, uh, for everyone who uh, followed me on this journey through Jedi Survivor, uh, it seems we have reached the end. Uh, as always, thank you so much uh, for playing a game with me. Uh, we will be back with more Jedi Survivor when the game is patched and it works. Um, and in the meantime, I will find something else to play. We'll see you around here again next time. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure, everyone.